To be very honest, I need to go and find the intro because all my mates have intro and I'm not supposed to be starting my videos. So hi, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this video. And so in this video, we're going to be basically going to be talking about birthdays and what I think about birthdays basically and you know just basically about my birthday basically so i'm going to be doing my makeup while we're at it because i want to take my pictures today so yeah we'll be seeing how everything will working out so let's begin so we're starting with this um it's like a uh, what is this <laughs> nourishing acid moisturizer mo moisture portion for meals medsick so we're going to be using it to prime so yep that is it what are you to about to this See, that is it. So I'm going to be using this to prime my face because I'm sweaty and I have oily face. Okay. So basically, what do I think about birthdays? Birthdays are nice. At least for for me, one thing I would remember them for is that um, they are um, a means for us. Uh, they are another time for us to bless God. You know, for you know, for life. Great. It's great that we have birthdays and we have things to remember them like i really celebrate people that celebrate their birthdays because it costs a lot of money and you know a lot of um resources and yes i don't think i've ever thrown like a birthday party in my life i don't think so and i don't know it's not like i don't want to. so as i was saying it's not bad to i'm adding another primer since dirty so <laughs> i'm adding another primer pond primer this one is thicker and yeah it's for oily skin so yeah i'm adding this one so as i was saying it's not bad to celebrate birthday eh? if you give me the money to celebrate birthday i would celebrate it in grand style but when money not there <laughs> like i used to admire people that celebrate their birthdays although like i don't fancy excess so like when you're not overdue but can there really be an overdoing when you're celebrating your birthday i don't think so honestly I don't think they can be like an overdoing because it's your day. Celebrate it however you want it. So let me not be the judge of anybody's, you know, celebration. So yeah, basically, the fact that tomorrow is my birthday, I really don't feel anything. Over the years, I've felt like pre-birthday anxiety and, you know, just worried over our necessities that what would I celebrate this birthday. Not really exactly that. It's basically like, um unrelated feelings like i'll just be feeling like this birthday I, re I really like there's just this anxiety that shall come shall for no reason basically the anxiety shall come and i don't i basically don't know why i'm sure if you keep hearing cars i'm outside because that's the only place i can shoot my video sorry <laughs> so i'm still camera shy i feel like i use this shyness in jesus name amen so I applied, I need to apply more primer under my eyes because I, I sweat a lot under my eyes. I've not done my makeup in like in years, so this is like, <laughs> I actually hope I know what I'm doing. Okay, so um, after I've done this, you can see that my face is like, as like my face is no more as oily as it was before. So, yeah, this will make our make our this will allow our makeup to stay and last longer than it would normally last. Okay, so yeah, moving on to foundation. I'm using the V Beauty um, foundation in maroon. Yeah, I'm using the V Beauty foundation in maroon. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm using the V Beauty foundation in maroon, and I'm just going to be putting it on my the back of my hand because I don't want excess on my face. So yeah as i was talking about birthdays birthdays are they're, they're good days honestly depends on how you look at it it basically depends on how you look at it to be very honest like celebrating your birthday why do you keep saying celebrating this is basically just a rant i don't even know what i'm saying so i'm just patting the foundation of my face to ensure that it seeps into my face without being without smudging or looking mushy so as you can see this is my foundation side and this is the own foundation there's basically no difference basically i'm not applying anything i'm not applying more <laughs> this is my sister's makeup if she catches me i'm toast okay so yeah i don't i'm not planning any celebration no. i'm not planning anything 
Give me number one because I don't even know. But this are cool to be honest. Last year, my last year birthday was actually so glamorous and unexpected because I received gifts from people that I did not like, like people that I didn't even think I received gifts from. I received money. My last year birthday was basically cool. I actually love this, honestly. And I'm grateful to God for the kind of people I have. My last year birthday was only the first time I actually got a cake on my birthday. Maybe I got the kick when I was two years old or one year old, but then I can't remember. But as far as I can remember, my last year birthday was the first time I ever got a cake. Yeah. I don't know. I sound like I'm saying a sad story, but I'm not. I'm not saying a sad story. I'm just talking about my birthday life. So, I don't know. My family members they usually say that maybe it's because I don't have friends and stuff like that. Maybe that's why I don't really get like much stuff like that but me yeah, i really don't I, I really don't care less i think the only time i care about birthdays is when um it's close to the time of my own birthday i really hate when june is coming i really i like i detest it because my birthday is literally the second day of june i have no day to think about my life honestly like it is it's chaotic over here it's really really chaotic so I'm not applying much foundation because I don't want the makeup to be too heavy because after I take my pictures, I'm getting rid of the makeup. So yeah. There's basically no difference between the face, my face and my makeup, honestly. There's basically no difference. I think that I feel like if you have clear skin, the makeup would look amazing, honestly. Like you, you, if as long as you not see the makeup. You don't need to do too much for um for you to look good this hair keeps disturbing so yeah what was i been talking about so i don't even know everything just day and honestly my last year birthday i got surprised actually and i don't know what do you guys think about birthdays i think my face is i think my face is done i think it is done can see my face with foundation see how nice it looks like clear skin will give you nice makeup it's just clear skin is equal to nice makeup my hair keeps shifting to the back and i don't know why so yeah, we've got our foundation on i'm just going to be using a brush where's our brush i'm going to be using this brush is too soft i don't think it'll get me the job done let me try okay so as i was saying everything is just um it's just like that, Jerry. My better story is just the over the years. I don't think I've cared. At least in primary school, my mom would shy give me. My mom would give me um this thing. She would give me um what's it called? Biscuit and drink to carry to class and share to my classmates. At least that one a celebration now. Who who can open up? <laughs> oh yes. Um, I'm done with my foundation and I think I look pretty good. So I told you, clear skin is a cost to good makeup. So make sure you have your skin on points and on period. I saw this trick on TikTok or on YouTube when I was watching YouTube uh, to apply setting spray, but I'm not going to mess with this setting spray that I have because <laughs> I don't want to go there. Yep. So yeah, we're going to be applying concealer now. Yeah, we're going to be applying concentration. Should I apply? What's, what is this? I think this is fun. Yeah, I think this is a fun. Um, LA Girl concealer in fun. This was like my first concealer that I ever bought when I started doing makeup. I remember this was the highest thing I spent my money on back then on makeup. It was so nice. So, what was I saying? Yeah, I think the most important thing everybody should be grateful for on their birthdays is the fact that you know god has kept them till another year you know god has kept you till another year to like see the year so like be grateful don't be bothered that you don't have like money cake because money cake is really trending in nigeria like this i'll be easy um dubai rose cake that is trending i really don't even know and i really don't care <laughs> if you give me money cake i appreciate you i appreciate you a lot but I really could care less about things like that to be honest. I really could care less because honestly, to be very honest, let's never go into that. Let's never go into why 
that is worth it or not because <laughs> i'll just keep rambling and rambling and rambling, and rambling. i will not leave it today so basically eh don't be bothered about anything that uh, i can't celebrate my birthday in grand style i've never celebrated my birthday in grand style before god knows and it's a nice thing to be very honest it's very admirable but the fact that i've not celebrated it there eh, doesn't move me i can't lie there sometimes i don't feel like ah why don't i just have money to just do what i want to do but what can i do <laughs> what can i do i, I can't go and steal because of birthday now i can't go and steal i can only hope for what people will give me <laughs> talking like a beggy beggy i can basically only hope for what people will give me <laughs> on my birthday basically so i'm sorry my words don't even match because i'm just talking anyhow so yeah, i'm applying another coat of concealer because I want my under eyes to be bright and I want that part to pop very well. It's not coming out. I want that part to pop very well. So, yes, don't be bothered eh, about birthday or new birthday, to be honest. Because at the end of it all, you do your birthday, we're going to chop your food. Come on. What thing will come on that birthday? <laughs> I feel like don't be bothered eh? if you don't have like this grand style birthday just like me. Don't be bothered basically. Do not be bothered about anything. I feel like beauty blender does just the job, honestly. If you have a beauty blender, like get into beauty blenders, honestly, because they just get the job done in quick time. Like they don't waste your time, they get the job done. Sharp, sharp. I know I told you that this is my first time doing makeup in years. I don't even know how I'm getting it, but I feel it's because I love makeup. Well, you can go already. I feel it's because I love makeup. So, um, doing makeup even after like three years. I think it's been like three years since I did like a very full face makeup. I feel like I'm doing this thing wrong. <laughs> I need to correct it. The fact that I've not done makeup in it in a while, <laughs> uh -huh. it's my love for makeup that is keeping me. I don't know. I don't think I'll do that. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Don't People don't even do this style anymore. Honestly, watch YouTube tutorials and I don't see people do this style anymore. But it's fine as well. So I, was, I was saying, don't be bothered eh, about birthday or no birthday. Just give your thanks to God and you know, that's it. Like God is really the only one we are looking for to be very honest. At the end of this at the end of it though, it's only God that we are um living for. Yeah. So I'm not going to be putting the menu of the concealer. Yeah, I won't be applying concealer to the side of my face because I don't want to look too heavy. Okay. I didn't even want to apply it to my forehead before. I don't know why I did. But then it is well. So yes, my sisters were even um What's it called? They were like telling me it's like go and do um this to so do photo shoots. But then I was like, ah, hey, you know, hey, Jesus, Jesus, Holy Ghost fire. The plan of my enemies no work. I have to clean this side. <laughs> oh Lord, oh Lord. <laughs> so I was like, ah, me, I don't have money for can you me a little photo shoot? Cause photo shoot is ex ah, photo shoot is money. All these girls have been doing uh, each year. They will not like one year they'll do photo shoots. The next year they won't. Money are finished. <laughs> do you know the money that they used to take pictures? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot of money. I think right about now, if you want like good pictures, I stay in like in Accra, which is never as expensive as Lagos. If you want to get good pictures, I guess in Accra, you will spend nothing less than 18,000. And that's for like maybe three edited pictures. You get so you can see how like, expensive that is. So I was like, I'm not getting into that. I'm not about to come and spend the money I don't have. She, I'll be only photographer. Me. I bought will I used to pick. Will I remove my wig and give photographer? I don't know. To be very honest, I really don't know. They just telling me to do. Actually, if I wanted to do a photo shoot, I would have done. Uh, but I think it's just me. I, will, I, I kept telling myself that I didn't have the money. I didn't have the money to do what, what is water coming out of this thing? I didn't have the money to do photo shoot and I didn't have none. What I don't have, I don't have. So what I don't have, I can't say I have it too. I'm gonna spend the money I don't have. 
If I wanted to do it, I would have done it honestly. Maybe it was just me, but they have come and I'm sure I did not do it. So that's some period. And that's some period. <laughs> so yeah. That's the story of my life. Oh. That is the story of my life. And let's even talk about weird birthday photo shoots. Honestly, I've seen the height of photo shoots. Very honest. Like, can people stop doing weird photo shoots? Eh? Can we stop making weirdness trend? Like, I feel like most people on the internet, on the internet, it's very easy. Move. I feel like on the internet, it's very easy for people to influence other people because most every civilized person uses the internet every day and i think my face let me check let me check the mirror because my phone is deceiving me <laughs> so i feel like every civilized person here uses the internet and stuff this place kind of looks orange i don't know why so I feel like every civilized person uses the internet and stuff and the internet is even more exposed to young people more nowadays and basically a lot of people are just doing a lot of rubbish stuff to be very honest you see some people's um birthday shoot and be wondering like what's going i don't understand are you planning a carnival for the devil or what why are you like this in your photo shoots to be very honest i don't understand I don't understand. I don't understand. What kind of vibe are you giving me these shoots? Like, some shoots are basically senseless and they are not meant to exist, honestly. I keep applying more, more and more concealer to my under eyes. I don't know. I want my under eyes to really pop. So, like, make a photo shoot. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Look what I'm looking like. God knows what. I don't know what I'm trying to achieve, honestly, with your shoots. Because <laughs> you don't look good. At least to me, though. Well, some people think you do. Well, you don't look good with that photo shoot, honestly. So, like, let's make photo shoot make sure. So. I feel like that's one of the things that's most scary me to do photo shoot. Although you're in control of your shoot, though, like, a photographer cannot force you to do, to take pictures you don't want to take, because, of course, it's your face, is your shoot, is your money. But, like, I'm so scared to do photo shoots because I feel like my pictures will come out to work. And even let's even talk about photographers. Okay, I think my under eyes are okay now. Let's even talk about photographers over editing your pictures. Like, if you don't post photo shoot, they will look totally different from what they look like in normal life. And then I'm like, could it be to worry by? Honestly, I'm like, I'd rather not do, I'd rather not do photo shoot though than end up looking like what I'm not with my eyelashes, my skin, with my skin over smoothened than the rest of my body and then i start looking like casper the friendly ghost jesus my eyes <laughs> casper the friendly ghost like i don't want to look like that honestly so like let's make things make sense honestly yeah let's make it make sense so i'm going to do my contour now i don't know if i should use this shade of concealer or i should just use this um color palette that my sister bought i magic professional colors I don't know, there are many colors here. I don't know if I should use a, con a um, what's it called, contour from there. But let's see how we gonna do. So I'm going to be applying like cream blush, yeah. I'm going to be applying cream blush. I'm going to be using what shade of blush? I'm going to be using this red shade. Or should I use, I'm going to be applying this creamy color stuff on my cheek. Because you know I still applying the wet stuff. So when you're applying the wet stuff, I think one thing you should try to do. <laughs> let's see if it will work on me first. One thing you should try to do is to apply all the wet stuff first before you apply the dry stuff. Okay? So let's apply this red stuff here. Is it even showing? Okay, let's apply this red stuff here on my cheek. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I think I don't overput. Just a little. I don't need too much. I don't need too much. I don't want to be looking like crap. So, yes. I think that's enough that I put. So, as I was saying, let's make our domes. Let's make it make sense. Okay? Do photo shoot, Madras. Yeah, let's make you do photo shoot. Basically, me, I like pictures. So, when I see ugly pictures, eh? when I see ugly pictures, I'm like, or when I see a fine person, like, basically, last year, no, 2020, during like lockdown and stuff. I saw, I think the blush I put on this side is too much. I saw like 
one girl there's a particular girl i know her I, I know the way she looks so when i saw her um when i saw her um shoot i was like sis is this you like why do you look <laughs> My mind, I was like, I didn't tell her because I'm not about to let somebody cry on their bed. So I was like, Why do you look like this? Like, why do you look like this? You look totally different from what you normally look like. And basically, photographers try to do too much sometimes. So, you know, things that they be more juicy. That is the way of life, honestly. Okay, so what else should we talk about? The I've actually spoken about it all and how do I feel about my birthday tomorrow? Honestly, I don't know. I don't feel anything. The only thing that will make me happy right now is for my video to come out nice and for my pictures to come out nice. That's the only thing that I literally care about right now. Honestly. I could care less about every other thing. But these two things made them come out fine. That's basically what I really care for now. Okay. Yeah. I start on that. So we're going to be applying our contour. We'll be contouring our face now. So I think I should use this LA Pride USA contour concealer palette. So I'm going to be using that. I don't know if I should use that or I should use foundation. Or I should use this color thingy. I think I'll try to use this color thingy because it has many colors. As you can see. So I think I'll use this shade right here. It's, it's dark. So I think I'll be using it. I'm doing light makeup, so I really don't need too much of stuff. It's even showing up. Okay, showing up. I'm not gonna apply too much. I'm not apply too much. Let's see what this little can do. Cause this product, eh, they be playing with you sometimes. They be playing. They be playing though. Okay, I think it's coming out fine. Hey, the one I put on this side is a lot of oh, you know, more. Put a lot on this side. Put a lot on the side. I think I put a lot on this side. So I'm going to blend it. So when you discover that I put too much makeup, is either you use um a makeup remover or you just use your brush, like blend it with the rest, like with the makeup surrounding that area. So you don't end up looking like shit. <laughs> oh god and let's talk about weird makeups that i've seen honestly i feel like if you can't do makeup eh, just rest because it just comes out ugly in pictures and in um videos honestly and i don't like whack things maybe i'm too picky with people but then that's just basic truth that's just facts honestly it's basically just facts don't be coming out looking like god knows what in pictures you come out and be like, oh, got my makeup, full face of makeup, but then you look like, look like, I don't even know what you look like. So, as I said before, let everything be, in, be in, let everything be in moderacy, huh? Let it be in moderacy. So I'll just be applying, not that I trust this contour, I'm going to be applying on my nose. Hey, I think this one is too much, so I'm going to be, okay, I'm going to try to adjust it. I'm going to use a small brush. Okay, I think this one will do the job. I think this one will do the job. So yeah, so what is it that I'm doing? I learned it from YouTube. Oh. To be very honest, I learned it from YouTube. I think <laughs> I've seen a lot of YouTubers do get ready with me because I just enjoy watching YouTube. Honestly, I put too much. Okay, I put too much. Okay, I realized that I put too much. I know my mistake and I'm going to correct it. <laughs> so I'm using a small brush to kind of is this contour back to the makeup I'm talking about a lot of random things honestly can't be tired of watching this video now can't even be tired because you still have a long way to go okay <laughs> that's Igbo okay I've heard it <laughs> I'm just ruining Igbo language for free and you're back so sorry for ruining your language Go. So this is basically seven as my blending brush. So anytime I do something, I blend it. All thanks to Kesa Kobe. She's like the queen of no flashback makeup. Her makeup is always like on point. Like I really don't know how she does it, but her makeup is always on point. So like yeah. So I think I got that. I think I got that. Yeah. I'm just experimenting honestly. And I feel like this came out nice. 
I feel like I look okay. My phone size is nice. Let me check the mirror. This phone is deceiving me. Yeah, I feel like I'm okay. Yeah, I'm good. I think I'm good to go. Yeah. It's okay now. So you see, that's the secret though. When you do, when you feel like you make a mistake, and if it's not an excessively bad mistake, you can always like correct yourself with blending. Blending saves the day. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so moving on. I'm going to now be doing um uh, do I want to do eyeshadow though? Do I want to do eyeshadow? I haven't even done my brows. <laughs> totally forgot that I have brows to do. I basically would do natural brows because I don't want to shape my brows. My brows are too full. And they always come out weird in pictures. So what am I going to do? I guess I just have to shape the front part of my brows because I don't want to look weird in my pictures. So yeah, what were we saying? Honestly. This bed is 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 something. What do you call something? <laughs> so what does I wanted to do? Uh, I think we're going to try to do our uh, eyeshadow. Let me let me shape my brows and come back because I feel like my brows are just not doing what they're supposed to be doing now. Oh God, my brows are looking hectic. <laughs> my brows are looking like they've had a long day at work. It's fine. <laughs> We're going to deal with that, okay? I can't be looking ugly in our pictures. So we're going to look for a brow brush. So I think I found a brow brush already. <laughs> this house is so chaotic. I can't find the things that I need. So for my brows, oh, I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm just going to just try to make them natural because I can't start shaping anything right now. This is so chaotic. Why? 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 I think I'm just going to be doing like brow strokes. Oh, I totally forgot that I had brows. I put it not remind me. Ha! Already bam bam bam. Finally chilled with the big boys. Okay. So I'm just brushing my brows up. I think I should shape it though. I think I should shape this part off so that I look normal. I'm already sweating. I'm literally already sweating. I'm already sweating. And I can't afford to sweat because I have not even taken my pictures, honestly. I have not taken pictures, so I can't sweat. You can't sweat. Okay, so where is our bra? Okay, I'm going to be using this stuff, this angled brush to make like hair-like strokes. To fill in like spaces in my brows. I don't think I'm going to be shaping anything. I don't know, I'm going to try to walk around everything I'm doing. Okay. So we're kind of, okay. What color of stuff should I use? Okay, I saw from a video. I should put certain powder on your brows before you set them and before you make them. So your brows will look. I think I put too much. Oh my god! Oh my lord! Never do this. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> okay. So you put certain. Put too much. Way too much. So I think I think. I, there's a mistake over here. <laughs> just tap it a little when you want to take your um, this thing. Just tap it a little. So yeah, I I saw that if you apply it to make your brows look light, but I have thick brows, so I don't think that phenomena. Okay, maybe it's working. Maybe it's working. We don't know. Okay. So I'm just applying it, I'm just doing what they say I should do. I'm obeying their commands. <laughs> should I still pull more? Okay, I'm still putting more. Okay, oh, okay. You see? Oh no, that's not. Oh god, this is chaotic. Uh, <clears throat> So, uh -huh, I think it's better you put it like this before you start swaying it. So, it's better you dab it like this before you start swaying anything across your face. Because this is really chaotic, okay? Yeah? Okay. How do I look? I still look crazy because I've not put gloss and I've not done my eyeshadow, but we know. We're getting there, okay? So, we brush our brows. Jesus. We brush our brows back. Brush it back into the shape of the brows that I want to achieve. 
I want to achieve normal brows, so I'll just brush it back. My brows are way too full. They are way too full. I don't think I'll shape my brows though, cause I don't think I have the luxury of time for that right now. So I just going to be applying. You know that contour stuff we applied the last time. I'm going to be using it to do like to make like hair-like strokes. Or should I use it? I'm going to be using it to make like hair-like strokes on our brows, and we'll see where that leads us. Okay. This is oily. Okay, so. Mm. Oh no. Hell no. Hell no. This ain't gonna work. I think if you use a powder stuff, it's going to work. And let me not do rubbish. I don't think a creamy stuff will work, so. On to the next one. I'm not even getting it, bruh. Bruh. Okay, I think I'm starting to look like a person. I'm starting to look like a person. I think if I conceal my under brows, I think they will look normal. I think they will look normal. So let's try to do that. I guess we're using that brush that we used earlier on, which I cannot find at the moment. Oh god. Okay, I can find it. So I think I'll be using my LA girl again to do my under eyes because I'm right, Bubeli. For your picture lane and i'll still edit this video i'm literally giving myself 24 hours to edit this video and it's not funny this is torture self-torture but now i would do it but now i'll be so tired because i literally take i take forever i take forever to edit the video because i just like things being perfect why am i i keep using the camera when i have a mirror okay so i think i've tried for these brows <laughs> and yeah i think i've done the lord's best on these brows even Anita brows cannot do puzzles, so I've tried. So moving on, I want to use um, the stuff, the setting powder on my brows again. Remember, don't spray too much or you'll be messed up. Skill took. I look beautiful. I look fine. That's my period. I want to try to do like a graphic liner. Um, as I told you, don't try this at all. Should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? Let me first contour my. I'm going to be using this powder set from B Beauty. So it has different colors about the contour. It has the highlight and stuff. I'm going to be using this shade to contour my eye and to serve as a dark eyeshadow. Okay, small brush. So I'm done with applying the contour shade, brown shade on my eye. Okay, so I think I'm looking good. I don't think I I don't know about this graphic liner though. I don't want to look stupid. I'm going to be applying eyeshadow. I think pink is going to be cute. What do you think about the pink though? This is not giving. You're not giving. Go away. I'm going to be trying this palette. I don't know about that other one. It doesn't just say this one will give. Bye. Oh, uh, I don't know though. I don't know about it. But these palettes are just. I don't even know what to call them. Okay, I think we're looking good. We are looking good. Okay, mm. face without eyeshadow. Face with eyeshadow. Mm. I look good. I know that I feel. I feel and I look. good i think we're good for now i'm not sure i'm going to do like a liner because i'm already stressed from just the eyebrow and the eyeshadow so i think i'm just going to set my face using our setting powder our sasha buttercup so i'm going to be setting our face gently because this is chaotic i'm doing it gently because i don't want it all over this is too pigment get out I'm going to wait for our face to be. So we are back now and then we're going to brush up this excess powder that we got. Uh -huh. I've watched so many YouTube videos and I've seen so many techniques of like how people put their makeup and stuff. And there's literally there's literally no one way to this. There are like a plethora of ways to be, to do this particular step and even other steps. Makeup is like mass. Ticket. There are many ways. So there's literally no 
dealing what I'm doing. I'm just dusting off the excess makeup. Hmm. Call me makeup artist at this rate. We're going to be applying our powder contour from this palette. We're going to be using this dark one here. We're already looking good. We're already looking. So I guess we're applying a uh, blush powder blush. You know we apply like a creamy blush the other time. <clears throat> I think I'm going to use this shade. This one. I'm using like an eyeshadow shade. So an eyeshadow palette. So I think I'm going to be using this shade right here. So I just gonna like put too much blush. So I'm going to be wiping that off. Honestly, I don't think I messed that blush up. I think I did, but I do no sense. But I going to fix our face. Don't worry. We're gonna fix it. I think I look okay now. So let's put the gloss. I don't like this color. Oh, so many vibes. Setting spray. We're spraying our faces. So the last step in this makeup routine 2022 is going to be applying three layers of mascara because we're not putting lashes. It's going to be going in with this NYX mascara. It's thin, like it has thin bristles. That's why I'm going in with it first. I don't know if you can see the bristles, but they are quite thin. They are very thin, so I'm going to with that one first to give us like a foundation. Okay. Okay. So first layer done and dusted. So I'm going to be applying the second layer, which is just a regular volume, colossal volume mascara. So it's going to give us more volume. See the bristles there medium size okay second layer so second layer done and dusted so you can see i already look like i have like i have more volume of lashes i don't need extra lashes so third layer nameless mascara so you see medium bristles also so i'm going to be applying that to as the last layer of mascara that we're using This video has no filter and it looks so cute. <laughs> so today is my birthday. Wish me happy birthday today in the comments. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.